Less than 20% of our children would have devices and uh, they would afford, you know, uh, the cost of data. And uh, even teachers were not socialized, you know, to, uh, to use ICT uh, for teaching and learning. I just decided that, look, the benefit is bigger than what would happen if it, if, if it doesn't succeed. People are telling us it can't be done. Uh, the time frames were short. I mean, we were told in like October. Privately, I said uh, to the, to us, in particular, Lala, that now let's do this and let's see where it takes us. And uh, we, we can't, you know, it's, uh, we cannot stand back. We saw an opportunity as the department, not only to achieve what the objectives of the departments uh, were seeking to achieve, but we also looked at the objectives of the project because it was an eco economic stimulus pa uh, project. So introducing additional hands in uh, our historical disadvantaged schools, it was really something that was welcomed by in both hands by both the principals, SMTs, SGPs, and the teachers, because in reality is that our schools, uh, they are poor, they, they rely on government for any other opportunity that they can create that can bring a, a additional human resource. We have to train them because our school is a special school. But the, the group we had, for them, it was, it, it was so easy to learn because they were eager to learn. They learn easily. After a month, it was something like they are professionals because they carry on as normal like us as teachers. Uh, the fact that we were working as a department, not as a unit, because what we did is we we had uh, this project was cutting a course. So uh, the project management team was from various units, including HR, including finance. Um, and, and, and really for us, that has helped because you are bringing people who have expert knowledge. Of, of, of specific areas to be part of the project. And then also they know the policies. People were working like almost, well, we were working 24 seven. Even on Saturdays, Sundays at eight o'clock, even though I'm not in the meeting, I can see the chat going on on the Microsoft Teams or the Zoom. And at two o'clock at times, I would have to tell Lala, go to bed. Uh, it works for a certain period, but after a while you need to balance it because you have family, 
remember that in every partnership that we are having, we have to draft an MOU. So I've got a very good relationship with the legal services. And uh, even with uh, uh, Harambe, uh, because of, you know, if, you know, if, if it, it, it wasn't the relationship that we have with our legal services, I think even now the, the MOU will then have been signed. But, you know, like Lala indicated that, you know, having a relationship with different people, it helps a lot. And also working with, with different uh, uh, provinces, seeing that different provinces are willing to, to, to take on this task, even if it was a short period of time. And they, they managed to, to work with us and making sure that this project become a success. We started within the network of uh, stakeholders in education and we used the civil society forum using our entity called the National Education Collaboration Trust, which is uh, an, an organ and an entity um, uh, assigned with the responsibility of bringing government, civil society, uh, business uh, and social partners together. I mean, the attendance on a virtual platform at times it goes over 600 uh, uh, people who are representing different organizations. Being a steering committee that is a, a, a comprised of the DDGs and also uh, they were meeting on, on a bi-weekly meet, uh, bi-weekly and also having a project management team that was meeting on a weekly basis. And the other thing, also having a one-on-one -on -one meeting with provinces. So that being responsive, being available, being able to think outside the box, being, being wanting to, to learn new things. And uh, I think for me, uh, those are some of the things that have really, that, I, that we can share with, with government departments. Who would have thought that in the Eastern Cape we would be able to create or uh, implement an investment of 1.2 uh, billion in four months? Wherever I go, people are saying, when are you bringing this back? Go to the beneficiaries, go to communities. When I talk about transparency, um... If we look into this project, it was uh, very much open in terms of how we re are reporting. Nothing was somewhere hidden. My job was just to unblock blockages, uh, instill uh, uh, a sense of uh, you know determination to team members uh, to say to them, if you meet any blockages, I'm there. The fact that he had passion for the project, he would really go, people that are working with him would want to support him in achieving this because he also has passion about it. He's not uh, like hidden in the project. And yeah, even our DDG, Mr. Parek, is very passionate. I'm eternally grateful to uh, the presidency for having created this opportunity uh, but not only created the opportunity but uh, walked alongside us uh, they did they allowed us uh, uh, the independence of implementing the program on our own but we had to report to them now and again uh, I'm eternally grateful to the leadership of cabinet, uh, president and the minister for having allowed this to happen. 
uh, I was amazed when I arrived at schools uh, to, to, you know, observe the impact of what this has done. I mean, in terms of uh, the general assistance, our schools had a much more attractive environment that you, than you had before. And when I asked, some had even started school gardens and they said to me, it's general workers. This project have, have really bared a lot of good fruits. People who have, who have been able to provide support to their other siblings uh, in pursuing their studies. Uh, people who were able to put bread on the table. All that I wanted was to get schooling to run. I didn't know that it would go this far. So this project has really uh, unleashed young people from their hidden points to bring them to the fore so that we know what the country is. So really for me, that is a plus, a plus that we didn't only just give 300,000 uh, young people jobs, but we also unleashed them. Spent, you know, sleepless nights with districts and school principals uh, to get them, you know, to, to know how to implement the project and to make sure that those young people did not just get an employment opportunities, but they got skills that they could use even in other opportunities that they would get in future, but how the school principals and school governing bodies embraced the problem. Uh, for me, it made me once again feel so proud to be a South African and for having been part of a, a program that has had its little contribution to making a difference in the lives of our people. Thank you.